did he do with my mom's money? What did he do with all that money? More than half, half a million dollars gone after hundreds of Central Texas families planning for their future paid Austin Peel and Son Funeral Home for services in advance for years. And now a month after our KXAN investigation uncovered a state investigation into this grave enterprise, a state crackdown. KXAN investigator Brittany Glass has the reason those families can expect to get their money back in a matter of months. That was pretty cold-hearted of him. Hazel Bonilla's family is one of about 235 who prepaid for services at Austin Peel and Son since 2006. The Texas Department of Banking seized the funeral home's account covering hundreds of illegal contracts. Illegal because owner Billy Peel wasn't licensed to sell prepaid funeral contracts. How can he rest at night knowing what he's doing with people's money? The state agency believes it's possible the families would have never received those services after finding just $3,000 in the account. They paid whenever they could and whatever they could because they didn't want their families to have to be responsible at their time of death. And it tore your heartstrings that they could get nothing. In a new legal document, Peel and Son agrees to pay back the nearly $525,000 owed those families by mid-February. The state agency will take charge of the process. We will do uh, refunds to every one of those purchasers that bought the unauthorized contracts. But even after the Department of Banking seized Peel and Son's account at the beginning of August, the DOB says Peel violated a cease and desist order and sold a new prepaid funeral contract. When we spoke to Mr. Peel's attorney about that, um, he said that Mr. Peel, there was a confusion about what he could do and what he couldn't do, and I believe Mr. Peel understands all of that now. Peel will also have to pay a penalty of up to $520,000, unless he pays restitution on time, in which case it'll decrease to just $250,000. If uh, we do not collect the restitution, we will definitely pursue criminal uh, charges against Mr. Peel. He has to pay for the crime that he committed. Brittany Glass. KXAN investigates. We reached out to Peel again today for a comment, but he did not want to speak. If you have any questions about this investigation and want to speak with the Department of Banking about this, you can call their consumer line. That number toll free 1-877-276-5554.